Hey guys, Marianne Elliott from 360 Mortgage Solutions. So today I want to talk about two common questions I get from first home buyers. And the first one is around the pre-approval. So when a applicant is looking to submit a pre-approval so that they can start their home buying journey and start house hunting, it's really common for first home buyers to think they might apply for a cap of a set amount. And what I encourage all my clients to do when thinking about what that cap is or what the maximum amount that they would purchase for is to go for the absolute maximum. Now, the reason being is once a bank has pre-approved your loan and said, off you go, go and find your perfect house, it's much harder to come back to the bank and apply for an increase. The whole application needs to be reassessed. And that means that if anything's changed, for example, the assessment rate, because the RBA's put up the interest rate, then your application will be reassessed based on that new assessment rate. On the alternative side, it's much, much easier to come back to a bank and say, Actually, I know I was pre-approved to purchase for $650,000, but I've signed a contract and found a property for five hundred and eighty. dollars so let's lower that amount. Effectively, nothing in the application needs to get changed except your borrowing amount is less, your repayments are less, and what you're charged overall is less, so it's ideal. So in this situation, I recommend first home buyers apply for a pre-approval for the absolute maximum they would ever consider and then purchase for much less. The second most common question I get is how long will my pre-approval take? And this is a really, really good question. The answer is how long is a piece of string because it really, really depends. One of the major things it depends on is the bank that you're going with, along with the type of borrower you are. So if you are the kind of borrower who has a PAYG job, you've disclosed all your current debts, there's nothing untoward on your credit file, and you have strong savings history, then you can expect that your application will move along quite quickly, as opposed to if it's a more complicated type income structure, or you've got multiple direct debits coming out of your account that weren't necessarily disclosed and so on. When I'm talking to clients, depending on when they really want to get into their home buying journey, sometimes depends on the type of bank or lender that I recommend. So if you are wanting to jump in ASAP, make sure you mention that with your broker so that they can tailor their recommendations based on what's most important to you. So otherwise, guys, that's it from me. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.